gentlemen, on behalf of myself, Patrick, the management staff of the Canal Court Hotel, I would like to extend a warm welcome to each and every one of you here today. Ladies and gents, it gives me immense pleasure to ask you all to please be up and standing to receive your bride and groom, the new Mr. and Mrs. Nick and Laura Fusco. Can I ask everyone to be seated, please? Okay, your private party this evening has decided to do a bit of a cabaret act for you. Okay? So it's the boys versus the girls, so by your round of applause, we'll judge who the winner is and we'll get a free drink from the bar. So, ladies and gents, let's hear it for the boys. First of all, we have Sean and Johnny. but she's got the looks. So ladies and gents, let's hear it for the two bridesmaids, Tanya and Amy. There. So who do we think was the winners? The girls or the boys? Your vote. Who won? Yeah. Okay, we'll give them all a drink. <laughs> okay, ladies and gents, you're saying you're very welcome to the wedding this evening. First of all, we're going to have our speeches and I'm going to call upon your best man, Sean. So ladies and gents, a round of applause please for Sean. Hope you enjoyed that. That was the brainchild of Johnny. We weren't exactly sure, but things. hopefully it worked out well enough. Uh, you're all very welcome here, but we'll start off in the speeches with John Laura's dad. Thank you. Father, ladies and gentlemen, not be too long, believe me. I think it might be as well here today. 
Por Mekan. Det var jo... Big day, at vi sagde. Og jeg liker det godt. Mekan, det var jo fandme. Even though he's a man. That's the end of my speech. Enjoy your day. Thank you very much, Sean. And I'll now pass you over to the next lad, Mario. Right, just a few thank yous. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, the Reverend Father for a fantastic uh, service. And, uh, just to welcome you all here today. Thank you for all coming. Um, the I want to thank the Canal Court too for the fantastic layout of uh, the tables and decorations and to the staff. Um, I'd like to welcome Laura to our family. And, uh, there's always room for another Fusco. <laughs> um, that's basically all. Um, just hope you enjoy your meet. Thank you very much. Show the man of the hour, Nick Fosco. As most of you know, he's a man of few words. He's a silent type. So this is probably the most he's ever spoken in his life. <laughs> so, best of luck, then. <laughs> Thank you very much, Sean. Uh, I just want to start off by thanking John for his kind words. And, uh, <laughs> and this boat, this speech is not going to be long. <laughs> Trust me. And uh, I want to thank the Canal Court for all the hard work. It's been, the room is fantastic, unbelievable. And Patrick for looking after us. And uh, on behalf of my wife and I, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you for making a coming and helping us enjoy this very special day. And for all your kind gifts and cards, really appreciate it. Thanks so much. And uh, now I'd like to thank Linda and John for welcoming me into the family. Uh, as sincerely as his health. And all your help and support you have shown us over the years. It's been unbelievable. And you're such a, a warm and close family. It's a privilege to be part of it now. Thank you so much. And uh, I want to thank my own mum and dad who have been there for me despite being rotten my whole life. Yes. <laughs> I really couldn't ask for a better mum and dad. Also for the continued help and support over the years. For me and Laura, we couldn't have done without this. I love you and thanks so much. And uh, I'd like a toast for the parents. So, get that lemon cello when it's... <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'd like to thank Fawn Not for that great mass. It really was fantastic. Thanks very much. And now I'd say you'd all agree about how well the bridesmaids look today. Tanya and Amy have done a brilliant job today making sure Laura turned off her start. <laughs> and keeping everything together and making sure everything ran smoothly. Pretty couldn't say the same with these two boys, but uh, that's it. Thanks very much. And uh, that's another toast to the bright kids. <laughs> uh, I would like to thank the lovely floor girls, Ella Rose, Annabelle and Charlotte, for doing an excellent job. Uh, 
and their biz boys, Jimmy and Kieran. Brilliant. And the two ushers, Sean Paul and Jude. Very good. Brilliant. Thank you. Make sure everybody is sorted to travel. And uh, how can I forget the main man himself, we Alfie. <laughs> and that's an we toast for the kids there. <laughs> on these two boys. Uh, known nearly all my life. I just want to say how proud I am to have them up here beside me today. Thanks for boys. And this is Johnny the Green Club, if you don't know. I've known Johnny a very long time. He's been a great friend and over the years he's always helped me out whatever I ever needed. And there's just one thing about him though. He's the worst dancer I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> So, later on the night, stay well clear, because you'll poke your eye out. <laughs> now Sean, the best man. He's also been a great friend over the years. Never short of a good laugh, he's about. Especially in a few beers on. He's also Alfie's godfather. Whenever, whenever he's over visiting me and Laura, he's always got a wee present for Alfie, and he's very, a lot of time for Alfie. So, if that doesn't get you kissing, I don't know what will. <laughs> One thing about Sean though, he loves making up stories and telling lies. <laughs> so, if you fancy hearing any of them stories later on in the night, you'll probably find him over there sleeping. <laughs> so, uh, that's the post for the best man. <laughs> and last but not least, my beautiful wife Laura. Yeah. What can I say? She looks absolutely stunning. I'm so proud to call you my wife. And I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. I want to thank you for all your hard work and making this day happen. It's all paid off and you're stress free now you can relax. <laughs> and enjoy the rest of the day, our honeymoon and the rest of our lives. Thanks so much. And uh, that's me, so thank you. Short. I know you're all hungry for a lovely meal that'll be coming from the next colleagues in the kitchen. But at the same time, I hope you don't understand, we've got quite a lot to get through. So we'll just take a bit time, alright? Uh, we'll warn you that there's quite a few toasts in this, so if you all keep your glasses full, use the loot of yours on the table, don't be brushing in your carry it's too soon. <laughs> it's not a mission, I might be putting that off for this whole speech. <laughs> Yeah, I'd like to start by saying I love you to Brian's music lover. Thank you all the great Tanya's music, I'm just going to look at the excitement in Tanya's face that she's getting to dance with me later. And I'd say it's either excitement or fear. My money's on fear. First thing she's said to me every time she's seen me in the past few months is, you better not stand on my toes. Have you felt the same moves on the entrance there? I think she's safe enough. Uh, can we all please raise a glass to the Brian's music, please? Now I can't say how when the rides are looking without talking about the uh, age boys, flower girls and ushers. I think they all look pretty smart and they all perform their jobs pretty well. But now to bring us out down to Alfie. He's some pup. <laughs> can't tell you how many times he's cheered me up. With his antics, but a lot of it involves my meal. He sees it. Master of giving me offering you a sweet and then taking it back. Very <laughs> last. Uh, that's probably the tamest of his antics. God only knows what happened to his dad's BS3. Uh, but Alfie is a lovely child and he's blessed to have Nick and Laura's parents. Uh, so if we'd all uh, be upstanding, I'd like to raise a toast to Alfie and may he grow up to have a singing voice that's good as his mum's. And football skills as good as his dad's. And hopefully, not the other way around. Let's move on to a member of the wee family that isn't here today. 
Right. I'm going to break the cast Casper. <laughs> now, me and Casper don't know me see anyway, mainly because we're not half person. I won't lie, I may have been a bit smug whenever he got fixed a few months ago. Oh. Uh, but he's a great wee sidekick to Alfie. Or, yeah, uh, but it puts me in mind of a young Nicholas, and his best friend as a child. His brilliant dog, Bruce. You would rarely have seen Nick without Bruce. Uh, and whenever we're having a few pints, it's Nick gets a wee bit sentimental. <laughs> and uh, so I'd all, like you all to uh, join me in a toast that has been shared with me, the lads, and Nick many an evening. Many a drunken evening, even. <laughs> and uh, raise a glass to Bruce. <laughs> Bruce. 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 Now, Nick and I are lucky enough to be part of a close group of friends. So he was absolutely chuffed when he asked me to be his best man. But I was also very surprised considering the hash and the other organising Johnny Stagg. And if you're wondering, as the, all the lads over there at the tool table. <laughs> now, if you want to know tool's next favourite band, it's not actually an insult. No. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, Nick organised his own stag. As an Amsterdam, not allowed to talk about it. Uh, I came to the writing of this speech and I was thinking of writing a poem. But it was a nightmare. I think it's something that rang with Alfie or Laura. And any words that I could think that rang with Nick weren't exactly appropriate. <laughs> uh, so I first met Nick many years ago, where we played football out in the street last night. Nick, being the skilled football where he is, was always picked first. And I was always picked closer to the last than I'd occurred to remember. Uh, one day I had a brainwave to get my wee brothers involved. And it didn't take the lads to realise that my brothers were better than me. So I was knocked back down closer to the last time I heard uh, Speaking of football, you know Nick takes it very seriously. Especially when he's practising his diving in a friendly game amongst hotel staff in the hockey pitch. But then again, he's got Italian blood in him. <laughs> Trying to think of stories that embarrass Nick. I was hard pushed to choose. But as I said, if you missed any, you'd go over to the two table and they'd probably fill you in later as well. Uh, I'll start with his addiction to Candy Crush. And about a week, she you heard about that if you set the date on your phone a day ahead, then you'll get an extra life. <laughs> you know your next phone date sometime in 2017. <laughs> well, I'll tell you about a time Nick took a trip over to Edinburgh to visit me and the boys. And we were walking up the hill back up the main flat. When Nick got a fearful look in his eye, he was busting for the toilet. So I, uh, but at the same time, my phone rang. My mum phoned him with a check up. So I gave Nick my flat keys. I told him to go on ahead and he spread it up the road. I've never seen him move so fast when you're Celtic. I don't think anybody has. So I, I dandered up the road, took about five or ten minutes. By the time I got to the top of the road, Nick was still outside the front door, hopping from foot to foot, generally with the keys. And for the sake of decency, I'll just stay and wait just in time. <laughs> <laughs> for the sake of peacekeeping, I haven't mentioned the main cause of arguments in their house that John mentioned earlier. Man United in Liverpool. But at the same time, there's no red point this season so far. They both had a victory over each other. And with Fergie gone, United are on a downward spiral. So there might be a bit of better feeling about the place until they're both fighting for a Europa League spot, if they're lucky. <laughs> so let's talk Let's talk about why this man and this scouse are so good for each other. A few months ago, a wedding invitation came through the post address of the two of them. But neither one of them recognised the names on the card. They were, they were going mental, they didn't have a clue. And you know, weddings these days. Yeah. I think it was some word soon. Uh, Wednesdays, as you need to account for all of the story here nearly. So they put phone calls into their Campbells and the Costco households, but they didn't have any idea who they were either. It was only until Tanya there pointed out, there wouldn't be any chance for your sample invitations, would there? I don't have much else to say. <laughs> Except that it stays like these are remember for the best as the best days of our lives. And half of all of us here I'd like to thank Nick and Laura for having us be a part of it. Yeah, uh, you're a wonderful yeah. couple and a proud kind just of my two of my best friends. <laughs> so we'd all be up in standing to toast the, uh, the new Mr. and Mrs. Bosco to a lifetime of love, health and happiness. Cheers. 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 Cheers.
Yeah, stop this.